Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. So patrons have spoken and I love the topics that they pick. And someone else commented, I love the topics that people pick on Patreon. Hopefully this is useful for the rest of the tribe. Today we are looking at, let me show you the screen. The most voted topic is your talents, abilities. And that's what we're gonna be looking at. So pile number one is on your left. Pile number three is on your right. There are no objects, please use your intuition. If you need some more time, stop the video right here and I'll catch you in timestamps. Hello, my tribe. Whoever has chosen pile one, let's see what up. So since there's a lot of you watching and you're very different and unique people, I would like you to interpret some of the things that I'm saying. For some of you, it might be straightforward, but for others, you might have to interpret the messages, okay? Let's go. I've pulled three cards. The first card is from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. That's El Goliath Tarot, and that's in between, okay? Let's go. Okay, Eight of Fire. The High Priestess, the Crescent Moon Cat. We hear our fans. Oh, shut up, pile number one. <laughs> okay, look, let me adjust the camera slightly. Let's talk about your talents and abilities. By the way, this is going to be extended on, on Patreon. We're going to be looking at it a bit deeper. Now, I'm getting a bit of a backstory here, okay? And I'm going to go with it. Either this is for someone specific or maybe collectively it's for all of you. But I'm getting a bit of a backstory that first of all, someone had to um, learn through commitment, through relationship, in order for their ability or talent to be somehow tri triggered. I'm seeing it being pushed to the surface. Now, that doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a, um, it could be marriage, but it doesn't have to be. This could be business partnership. This could be anyone that you encounter along the way who has agreed to this role in this lifetime, saying, okay, I'm going to meet you and I'm going to do something that's going to trigger or push the, to the surface your abilities. Sometimes it happens gracefully. Sometimes it hurts. Okay. And it's just life. For you guys, a um, couple of cards talking about third eye. Overall, psychic abilities shooting through the roof here for pile number one. And it's so straightforward that I won't have to spend much time with you. <laughs> this would be my people who are working, and I don't know why I'm here in divine order, um, who are working with the universal balance. Um, integrating the shadow and the light aspect and it starts from within and then it seems like it's gonna spread to the world and why I'm saying spread to the world because I'm seeing you communicating with people who might need your help you might be um, you know any of the clairs to be honest clairaudient clairsentient uh, it doesn't really matter your cards are really saying that you can use these psychic abilities or the energy that you hold within but it's mostly psychic abilities that we're talking about here um for your life's purpose and maybe you were quite sensitive as a child already growing up or you had a um i'm also hearing maybe a traumatic experience as a child that kind of shook you up um and it made you more sensitive your eyes were much more open than maybe other people's I wouldn't be surprised if you questioned the meaning of life quite a lot when you are growing up. All those things um, kind of come together at the end when it comes to your life's work. Uh, some of you might be drawn to doing uh, magic. Others of you are just using your intuitive abilities to help people around. And it seems like it's been a journey. And it usually is a journey because you got to Because I'm looking at that path right there. Because... You gotta learn quite a lot about yourself and experience a lot of things on your own um, in order to understand people who come your way for the help, right? If we haven't experienced experienced certain things, uh, we 
might just imagine what the other person might feel like, right? And again, I'm seeing you have quite um, good boundaries when it comes to taking energy in. So maybe some of you are still learning how to do so, right? Where you're not being, you're not taking other people's problems or energy as your own. Um, I'm seeing you very, very spiritually mature at the time when you are doing this work. You're, I'm also hearing <laughs> as if your soul was speaking to me. There is a reason you are sensitive in that aspect. So maybe dive deeper. If you already did, um, it's saying there's a lot of people um, you're going to attract who are part of your tribe. And some of your clients may even become your friends or your support system along the way. <laughs> Very straightforward reading, may I say. Let's see if we need to know anything else here. Do we need to know anything else? And I'm using the in-between tarot about your abilities. Um, for other people, you know, it's not it's not black and white. It's not necessarily that you have to do this work, right? You always have free will here and on the other side. Some of you might be uh, very good at making connections, building connections, because I'm seeing a web. And it's because you intuitively know who to reach out to, who to work with, who to send a message to, okay? You're really good at that. And maybe you're using your intuitive abilities to build those connections. What did I say? We have the six of coins, look at this, right? All these people saying, seem to be that they are rooting for the same thing. They might have the same um, core value. Maybe they want to say the same thing, spread the world, sp sorry, spread the word to the world, whatever the case, okay? But this is more so to me saying that there is support system along the way. And you're going to meet more people who are a little bit like you in this journey of life. Your talents, abilities. I mean, the magician, it's very in tune, right? You have such strong psychic abilities. And you know, guys, if, if you're new to this, I say when it comes to intuition and psychic work, it's like a gym. You go to a gym, you're strengthening your muscles, it's training. So it's saying if you will want to take on some sort of training from a tutor that you trust, go for it. If at one point, I'm all about, you know, first of all, exploring oneself and finding your own unique way of doing things. Um, Prior, so kind of finding yourself as an individual in the midst of all of this. And then if you want to ground your knowledge or get confirmation or elevate your knowledge, finding a tutor, it's like a bonus, okay? Because we all slightly different the way we work, right? The way we shuffle cards, what tools we use. Some people just close their eyes and they just like to channel, right? So finding yourself is quite important. It's like an addition of the message that I found being very valuable for me personally. Some of you might want to work with uh, plants, anything that comes from earth, really. Um, I'm seeing water and plants. Very unique eyes some of you have. I'm, I'm being, um, the vision is shifting from very beautiful eyelashes, very curly, and a very um, beautiful eye shape or color. And I'm hearing you've been given those for a reason because you can see through the 3D. <laughs> Does that make sense? That's a talent and ability. You might not want to share this just with anyone. 
you're sharing it with those who are in need of it. And I like that you, you're very grounded in your approach. And as I say grounded, look at this world card. Again, uh, you might find yourself creating your own social medias because I'm seeing eight of wands and the world. I'm seeing international vibes here. And this magic, whatever you are doing, whatever you are capable of, these abilities that you hold are not only helping the people, but for some of you, you might want to work with a place. And it's very specific, but I'm seeing someone go into a place where something tragic in history has happened and they ask for permission from land if they can help out energetically and how they can do so and they help heal the land or the souls who haven't found their way back home due to trauma it's deep shit, pile number one, okay? <laughs> I love it for you. I'm going to extend this on, on Patreon um, because your, your pile is very straightforward. I honestly don't have anything else to say when it comes to purely your talents and abilities. I'm going to dive deeper on Patreon and see how, how they can do it, you know, any extra information that needs to come through by you are psychics here and very, very intuitively connected people. And it's nice to have you here. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number two, let's see what up. Your abilities, talents. Remember, all of you are very unique and therefore some of you will have to interpret the messages or get the metaphors sometimes they come through too, okay? That's the in-between tarot. That is the El Goliath Tarot. That is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Okay, let's go. You got the Four of Coins. The images are very important in this deck. You got the King of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy here. The Five of Roses. And you have the Five of Cups. Okay, let me sit with this energy a little bit. I'm gonna adjust the camera slightly for you. By the way, this is going to be extended on Patreon. Whoever needs an extension, I'll see you on the other side. Okay. It's a, it's not a very straightforward path here. It's saying, I'm getting a bit of a backstory like I did for another pile. At one point, you might feel like you are being repressed by either society, your boss, your parent, maybe. And as if your soul is telling me that you had to choose an environment at one point in your life that somehow makes you feel like you either are not good enough or you are lacking some sort of resources emotionally or financially. And that might have been a crucial shift or will be a crucial shift, like an aha moment for you in life where you then discover that this whole time you are the one who is able to build yourself up financially and to gain what you want in your material world. So you guys might be one of those people who are really good at building businesses, finances, or helping others to do so. 
I'm getting construction as well. Because I'm seeing plans. And I'm hearing strategies. Hmm. An interesting palette. Let me use the um, steampunk for this palette. It's a very appropriate deck for that. I want to clarify the King of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I keep getting it saying, um, you're, you've been asking for whatever this is from your surroundings or from whatever is external or the people whilst this whole time you were the one who have enough knowledge within you to build yourself up step into leadership so these are the people who would be great strategists leaders investors um people who build businesses All the time I was looking at the other or appreciating the other, not knowing that I have it within me. Okay? Yeah, King of Wands is here. You might be my group of people who are um, a bit multi-talented and sometimes it's difficult maybe for you to focus on one thing because you're capable of doing a couple of things at once, but it's saying decide what matters to you at that moment in life the most. Okay, let's let gravity do the work. Let's see what up. You got the chariot. Yeah, it's all about leadership, pile number two. You can be leaders in any area. And you have such strong masculine energy in you. You are doers. As long as you take action, you're getting stuff accomplished. And your power and ability is seeing what it is that you want to do next. I'm not sorry, I'm seeing a vision. It's someone is being completely immersed in that project. Sitting with that energy, that plan and that goal, get it, getting it accomplished and getting the next one done. But your pile, pile number two, it's saying make sure you're not always ahead of yourself because then you won't enjoy the journey. Make every project, every goal of yours entertaining as much as you can and how to do so is to try and be as much in the present moment as possible a bit like the children do you know they're like oh my god let's 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 build a i don't know a tree house and they literally like immersed in that project and they're smiling and they love it and they work with their parents that helping them out you know and they truly appreciate things like that over time we might have lost this excitement within us and pile number two might be sometimes fighting with themselves like oh i'm not interested anymore and that is what one of the lessons that you came here to learn too pile two is to find excitement there are so many different sides to you okay we have earth fire water and you might be able to juggle between these types of personalities. And sometimes it might be like, damn, I don't, I don't know. Like one day I, I'm super excited. The other day I feel like, oh, I don't like this project anymore. It's just um, understanding and also accepting yourself for who you are as you go through life. You're not the same person the next day, right? Even the next hour, you might not be the same person. It's okay. You are my leadership pile. 
wherever you find yourself when it comes to leadership is good enough. You might even want to do something with travel. This could be a thing. Or you might just need to get away in order to ground yourself, change environment from time to time. So holidays will be crucial here. Plan holidays for pile number two because they got so much going on. A holiday or time off is going to put you back into your body. Okay, ground you again, balance you. Yeah, what did I say? I said holiday, look at that plane. See what I mean? And again, page of cups. So be as curious as pages are. They are children, they are curious, they are excited about anything that they do. Let's clarify the five of pentacles, sorry, five of um, cups. Sometimes it's saying you might find yourself not liking or not vibing with the team or people that you collaborate with. For some, of, for all of you, it might be a different reasoning, but let's see collectively. Or you might have been disappointed by your co-workers or someone in particular. Why is this happening? To find who you truly are within. To remind you of who you are. In order for you not to get lost. So when you get some sort, when you dis are disappointed by someone in your work environment, you might start questioning yourself like, I'm not, this is not good enough for me. I don't like this. So that it pushes you naturally to find who you or remember who you truly are and what you want from life. And then what? And then you have an awakening and then you go, damn. I've been getting signs all this time. I didn't maybe want to notice them or wasn't comfortable for change and no one is, but I was kind of just brushing it off, right? I didn't want to show my true colors or I didn't want to stand up for myself and life might have been challenging you to not to be confrontational, when it like it's not coming from ego but to stand up for what you truly believe in and to speak it and not bottle up all the emotions to know how to do it maturely how to speak about something maturely because that is going to be needed for you further down the line once you have something to say to the world or to produce You'll need those skills, okay? Yeah. I just heard a star is born. I don't know for who that is, but here you go. A star is born. Yeah, your your talent overall is is to do with a split the deck. We have the Queen of Cups, building yourself up, right? In any way, I don't. There is too many of you watching this. Leadership skills, right? But at the same time, you are being challenged because you also have to face your own shadows. And not only that you're learning about your work and your business, but you're also learning about what kind of fears you face along the way of building yourself up. And it's like double the work that you do in, which is actually really powerful. It might feel like, ugh, shit, you know, but... It's as if you're being sped up. You're, you're also going to be learning how to make decisions purely based on your own intuition or your own discernment. And therefore, once you become this leader or boss or, I don't know, influencer, but it, for me, it seems like someone who sets up, sets up a company, their own business. It's in an old fashioned way, mostly in pile number two.
there are risks to be taken along the way. There is discomfort along the way. But if you are trusting in your own judgment, you're being able to be inspired instead of fearful by all little challenges along the way. Okay, I'm going to extend this on Patreon and look a little bit more what this is and what advice I may have. If you are my Patreon, I'm gonna see you on the other side. For the rest of you tribe, I hope this is helpful. Okay, and I'm gonna see you in the next one, bye. Hey tribe, panel number three. As um, I don't know if I mentioned in the intro, this is going to be extended on Patreon. And let's go, let's see what is up. This is the in-between tarot. We've got the sun. This is the El Goliath tarot. We have death. Ooh. And we also, this is dreams of Gaia, by the way. Nine of fire. Let me sit with these cards a little bit longer. Um, I said it in other piles, I'll set it here too. Uh, remember, you're all very unique, so some of the messages will have to be interpreted, okay? I'm seeing uh, for pile three, the first thing that came through to me is that your one of your abilities or talents is to show people their light or to make them feel good, but music is ringing in my head. Um, maybe you are artist of some sort. If you've been doing this already, it seems to be one of your, and I'm seeing one off because it seems like panel number three might have coupled, one of your talents that you came here with. You're very able to transform someone's perception so that they're not blindfolded anymore. This might show in the work that you decide to do. Others of you I'm seeing you're able to work with um, energy that you pull from the stores, God, whatever you believe in, and then using that energy in your work. These are the people who would be great at working with the physical body Maybe you are drawn to the medical field or anything really. It's not necessarily only medical field or maybe energy work um, that helps the other to feel lighter or happier or to recognize what is the origin issue, core issue of why they're feeling or having that physical problem that they do and what to do with it. Mm -hmm. somehow this ability and talent of yours includes rebirth let me get comfortable let's see which deck we are using here for pile number threes and i'm being very drawn to the haunted house tarot let's go I also heard some of you are great at or could be coaches in some sort of activity. Sports, I'm getting sports. This pile is very physical to me. So, so far we have sports, medical field, energy work, music. Pile number three, let's let gravity do the work. Yeah, you have choices. And I think for some of you, you might want to explore both of your talents that you're good at. You're like, hmm, let me, let me see. What am I choosing to work with?
I'm also seeing an album. Someone is flipping the album. I'm seeing notes and I'm also seeing drawings or sketches. <laughs> yeah, we have death twice here. Here we go. Some of you might be drawn to um, analyzing or researching death itself what happens post transition post transformation what happens on the other side abilities and talents Yeah, you got the moon, you have the eight of pentacles. I'm seeing the first, um, I'm being given, given a bit of a backstory. At first, it might be very unclear to you what the heck you came here to do or what you want to do. And it's saying that's okay. Um, explore explore and try things maybe as a hobby um, dive into it see what you like because you have a couple of options that is not to say that you're only gonna stick with one you might juggle you might use a couple of things like for example music and energy work and that's something that you do or music and therapy vibration of the music or whilst you are trying to um, get the message or information, what happens on the other side, you're also using something apart from this. So it feels like maybe that's why I'm mentioning quite a lot of things in pile number three, because a couple of them might be explored. Your work is protected. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many cards. Magician is here, the, five, the six of pentacles. You've got a lot of earth energy here. Your card is saying that this is some sort of your some sort of legacy that you will be building. We have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Pentacles below, meaning that someone is planting a seed, creating um, maybe a, a business or I don't know, let's say a path for themselves, and that might be extended through generations somehow. Or you already have someone who has done that in your family line and you are extending the legacy. You are continuing it. But financially, you look like once you step into this path, you're quite protected. As long as you don't give in to fears that may sometimes self-sabotage you. You also have with these cards right here, the moon, the two of wands specifically in this deck and the magician. You have strong manifestation skills or you working on those and you might even discover something along that path. I'm diving into subconscious, listening to my intuition, asking the moon for guidance. You have the moon and the sun. I'm in balance, juggling both. And once I've mastered it, I then can invite someone to show them what I'm capable of. 
Come, I'll show you what I've learned. Come, I'll show you, show you what I have to offer. Okay, let's put um, this back. Let's see, let's narrow this down a bit or let's get extra messages. I don't know what's gonna come through. Let's see. Pile three. have traveled you have healer we talked about medical field here you go you have the spiritual gifts of healing and a desire to share it with others this could be energetic this could be physical mental too Um, travel refers to once you actually honor this talent or ability, um, you might have a diverse life. It's not a boring routine. You might have to be in a couple of places at once or take care of a couple of things at once. It's not boring. It's quite diverse. Options. So I told you that you got options. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. You have a couple of options out there. It's completely up to you. Have free will here as well as spirits have free will on the other side. And it's entirely up to you what you want to do with it. Be a bit more self-assured, assertive. You have freedom. You're free to do what you choose. What did I say? See? Some of you might be sweating it. Some of you are like, oh, am I on the right path? Look, I split the deck. You're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. What is the right path? I have a question for you. If some of you are thinking that way. Because every route that we take, we got lessons, lessons along the way that we take as experience moving forward to another route. It's not as straightforward. Pile number three. I've done way so many different things before I landed here and I'm still adding to my basket. I'm still learning different ways of healing or helping people. It's not only tarot. You know what I mean? So that it might be much more diverse or colorful than maybe you imagine it to be. But whatever you choose, will be correct for that version of self and just soak in all the knowledge i split the deck we have energy healing we talked about this right it's just confirming confirming some things that i said so maybe collectively these are like more prominent talents and abilities that you have than the rest that i have mentioned here i'm going to extend this on patreon and see what else we got here and if you're my Patreon, I'll see you on the other side for the rest of you. I hope this is helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.